We counted 62 kills in Hannibal Rising. 52 of the victims were male, 6 were female, and 4 were unknown. Those were the bodies in the morgue in the formaldehyde tank. This was by far the most kills out of any Hannibal Lecter movie, proving yet again that kills don't dictate quality. And with a runtime of 121 minutes, that left us with a kill on average just about every 2 minutes. Three people died in The Exorcist, with two of them completely off screen. The victims included two men and one woman, giving us this pie chart, and a count slash gender breakdown we've seen in six other movies on this show. Five of them good ones. You're the outlier, dream child. With a runtime of 122 minutes, The Exorcist had a kill on average every 40.67 minutes. I counted five kills in Exorcist 2, with the victims consisting of two men and three women. Or two women and a demon taking the shape of another woman. I don't know. We've seen this count and breakdown in six other movies before, and with a runtime of 118 minutes, Exorcist 2 had a kill on average every 23.6 minutes. I counted eight kills in The Exorcist 3, including finally catching up with Father Karras. The victims included six men and two women, a 3 to 1 ratio of dudes, and continues the franchise's trend of having more kills with each installment. With a runtime of 110 minutes, we had a kill on average every 13.75 minutes.